Again, you want to dissolve your milk. If you're using powdered milk, dissolve it with water. If you're using whole milk, pour it into a jar like this and microwave it for two minutes or warm it up in a saucepan. Now, to get the right temperature, what I do is I dip my pinky finger in there for five seconds if I can tolerate the heat. Then I know I have the right temperature. If you're using a thermometer, you would want to bring this down to 110 degrees. Now to get the starter, I'm going to add some lemons in one milk and some chili peppers in the other milk and then cover it so you can sit in a warm area overnight. Your warm area could be in your oven, in your cupboard. For me, I let it sit outside overnight because it's quite hot where I live right now. And by the next morning, we have our starter. <music> So now let's make the yogurt. In a saucepan, you want to pour some whole milk. If you're using powdered milk, you're going to dissolve it with some water and then continue with the rest of the process. So now I'm going to keep stirring this on medium heat until it warms up. And then the way I check for the right temperature is I go in with my pinky finger for five seconds. If it doesn't burn me, then it is ready. I'm making this for my family, that's why I'm using my finger. If you're going to do this for a commercial use, please use a thermometer and then bring it up to 110 degrees. Or simply place some milk at the back of your hand to check for the right temperature. Next, I'm going to scoop some warm milk into the starter, mix it together and then pour it back into the saucepan. And then I go in again with a whisk, mix very well to make sure everything is smooth and that there are no lumps. Once that is done, cover this up and put it in a warm area till the next morning. Today's hug is for Matthew Henry watching from France. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next video. The next morning our yogurt is set. Look at that. Homemade yogurt without using yogurt. I made a recipe a few weeks ago and so many people wanted to see how to make yogurt without using yogurt as a starter, which was why I made this recipe. So I hope you get to try this out. From this point, you want to save it in your containers and put them in your fridge. It may look watery at the beginning, but by the next morning, it will become even thicker. Okay, so now I'm going to just pour it in an empty container and place it in my fridge and this is it to have it on its own you can sweeten this with some sweetener of your choice and some vanilla flavoring and there you have